Morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the Moto Meerkat YouTube channel, and welcome back to the second round of the Moto Meerkat World Series. Now, I'm super excited to have you all back on the channel again today and to see some hopefully fantastic racing. Maybe a couple of crashes sprinkled in as well, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, uh, not some craziness that we had last time. Hopefully, the stream goes uh, a little bit better, uh, better in terms of sort of health of uh, the game and not getting kicked and not having loads of problems. So fingers crossed for that, but uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Today, we've got the boys racing at Catalunya, Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya in Spain. Obviously, the famous Formula 1 track used for the Spanish round of the championship, but today the boys are going to be in their GT3 cars as usual, so not quite the uh, fast pace of Formula 1, but some pretty bloody awesome racing, if I do say so myself. Now, obviously, this weekend... It's already extremely exciting, thanks to Formula 1. We got Formula 1 back, finally, after so, so long. I'm so happy to see the cars all out on track. Apparently, I've been setting up this whole thing, so I haven't been able to watch free practice 3, but apparently, Nicholas Latifi has had a little bit of a crash, I believe, at Turn 1. So, obviously, it'll be good to... Good, 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 good. Blah, 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 blah. Good to have a look at that in the uh, future. And after this stream, at 2 o'clock, I believe it is, the qualifying will start for the F1. So, super excited for that as well. But I've managed to fill the little gap between FP3 and qualifying to give you some more racing action to enjoy. So, uh, so yeah, before we join the boys on track for the practice session, got a couple of things to sort of update you on, on what exactly is happening to the grid and uh, what exactly is going on. So, obviously, uh, the guys have just managed to get into practice. But, uh, of course, 
my controller doesn't like working particularly much, so uh, hopefully I can get that sorted. But yeah, so the main uh, difference from last week is the fact that uh, we had a bloke called J Source in the championship. Now, a lovely bloke. You should definitely go and check out his YouTube channel. He had a little bit of a uh, annoyance happen at the uh, previous race, uh, a bit of a collision with the leader, uh, but we weren't going to give him a race ban. We were. It was like fine. W what happened? It wasn't too bad, but. Um, he hasn't been able to jump in today. He's decided to actually drop out from the championship completely because he wants to focus more on his sort of YouTube stuff and uh, dealing with the schedule and that sort of thing. So that's absolutely no problem. We wish JSource all the best. But we managed to get Gear 3 Racing involved. Instead, he's taking his place in the Acura NSX. Now, you may know him a bit better as Triple Crown Racing on YouTube. So make sure you go over to Triple Crown Racing and subscribe. I recently did a video with him, actually. Uh, end of last week. No, sorry. A few days ago. Two or three days ago. And uh, it was very good. We looked at Alpha Tauri's website and their clothes and all that sort of stuff. So that was very interesting. So make sure you go and give that a watch. Uh, now, he told me he's got some wins in other Project Cars championships. And he's the only guy in this lobby with an A rating. Uh, so hopefully he uh, can, do pr can do pretty well and show the guys at the top how it's done, possibly. And then also a couple of other changes. Sam Malicious couldn't make it for today's, race for today's racing. So he's being temporarily replaced by GSR Raptor in the in the number four Audi R8. Hopefully we will uh, we could see him out on track. Then Southless also had to drop out with the Aston Martin Vantage. And I was not able to find a replacement. Well, I did find a replacement for him, but he then dropped out again earlier today. So couldn't find a replacement for him. And then Callum Howgigo has not turned up. That's Arsenal FC 145. Uh, hasn't been able to turn up. So I'll have to sort that out after the race. Now I've seen, uh, I'm watching the practice session on the screen in front of me as well. And uh, we don't quite have the full uh, 13 runners, I believe it should be. Possibly no, actually, maybe 14. 13 or 14. We only have 10 at the lobby right now. So, uh, hopefully, we can get those guys back in. But I will uh, switch back over to uh, to the racing so you guys can enjoy. I believe Todd E Games is currently just going around and doing a few laps of the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. But I believe some people are managing to get back in. So, uh, that should uh, that should be good. Hopefully, we can get it all sorted. Hopefully, the guys are in, uh, are in the group chat making sure that people are getting sorted and getting uh, getting in and making sure everyone can get invited. Ah, there we go. What are people saying? F1 e reviews got disconnected. Hopefully you can get an invite. And then uh, Callum needs an invite as well. Callum's managed to uh, managed to find the time, so he's here. So yeah, if those guys, if anyone's listening, they can get an invite. That would be fantastic. Get the numbers up and uh, have an enjoyable time. So yeah, we join the guys for practice at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. And uh, no one's well. Ge Gear 3 Gaming, as we said. New guy to the series. He's set a time. 2 minute 15. Not uh, not the quickest. I don't believe that's a proper lap for today. But yeah, as you can see, in the Cura, slightly different livery to what J-Source had in the number 86. So I'm feeling uh, he could be a very interesting one to watch today, I reckon. So if, uh, if uh, any of the guys... Uh, if there was any betting on the championship, I think I might put my money on him at the moment. But it'll be interesting, uh, be interesting to see. Oh dear, F1 reviews is disconnected again. He says on the chat, so that's very frustrating. This game uh, is is never particularly reliable uh, in that sort of case. So hopefully we can get uh, we can get him back in. But I'm super excited. Some people are in the chat as well. In interesting, interesting. Love the music. Hello, John. It's fantastic music, isn't it? I was listening to it um, as it was starting there. The Formula One 2006 music. Oh my god. Absolutely lovely. I genuinely, I think I'd listen to that shit in the car. Oh, long drive. Listen to that, it'd be incredible. But uh, we'll see some more times going through. First actual competitive time. It's been set by Sir Washington 7. Comes over the line. But I believe uh, Gear 3 Gaming was coming over to finish the lap. So we'll see how he does. Uh, across the line he goes. Uh, a little bit faster. 147.8. And then uh, I believe, yeah, that's CJ Pants with a 150.2 coming across the line. Not quite good enough. But uh, what a timing, mate. Just after the third practice session ended. Of course, of course. Got to fit it in correctly with... Uh, Got to fit it in correctly with uh, the Formula 1. Because I know, obviously, everyone wants to see the Formula 1. Why is it stuck on this, then? There we go. We'll move over to see Washington. And, uh, yeah, obviously, I'm so excited for Formula 1 to come back this weekend. And I couldn't, I couldn't allow it to, cla to clash, could I? Everyone's going to be watching the Formula 1. So I can fill that little gap in between. And you can, guys can have some enjoyable uh, racing stuff going on in between. But... Uh, yeah, a couple of things just to say today. I believe, um, I can't remember what the sort of good times were. I believe sort of in the 146s, I want to say. I believe so. So we'll, we'll watch those times uh, start to trickle in. 
we'll, uh, we'll move on. We'll watch someone else. We'll watch WRL Leclerc see he's doing. Now, I've just got a couple of things to talk about. So after we had, obviously, the first round of the championship at Algarve, it was a fantastic race. The highlights just went up on the channel this Wednesday, so you can uh, go onto my channel, click below, and uh, enjoy the highlights from, uh, from last week's round, which was very, very enjoyable. Oh, Connor, thank you, mate. How do you only have 1.8k subs? Thank you, Polly. That's very sweet of you to say I deserve more. Hopefully, I can get some more uh, <laughs> more in the future. But uh, I just enjoy making content for you boys. So, uh, so it's all good. It's all good. I'm just enjoying myself. A lot of you will have seen on my Instagram story that uh, my little cat, Brian, is right next to me sitting in my uh, sim rig at the moment. He looks very cute. If you haven't seen, go onto my Instagram, at Moto Meerkat. Check out the story. He's looking very, very sweet. But as I said, yeah, last week at Algarve, we had a great race. So the results for that week came out as follows. We had uh, Todd E. Games, who is... Where's he gone? There he is. Todd E. Games took the first round win, took 15 points, and is now sitting happy at the top of the championship, slightly followed uh, just behind by, uh, if I can find him, there he is, WRL Leclerc in second. Then after that, we have Sear Washington, who's currently third in the championship. He's obviously sat in the pits at the moment. Then we've got Southless in fourth, who's not here today. Then we've got Jack in fifth, who is at the top of the timesheet. There he is. He's in fifth at the moment in that Renault. Uh, but he also managed to get the fastest lap in the race. That gave him an extra point, so he's managed to be on seven points rather than six. Then just behind him, in sixth place, is YCB Ferrari. That's not him. That's a lie. I think he's in the pits as well. He must be. Uh, then after that, people were having complete nightmares. Obviously, we had McGintis got taken out by Jay Source, who was the leader. So he uh, he DNF on the race, so he didn't earn any points. And then Arctic DNF as well. SOL Leclerc DNF. Arsenal DNF. Sam Malicious didn't start. LSJ Rundle didn't start. CJ Pants and Jay Source were both disqualified. So it'll be interesting to see how people do today and how the racing today jumbles up the actual overall championship leaderboard for the year will be interesting but yeah as i said boys out on track currently just doing some final bits of practice a 15 minute session we're already down to about seven and a half so about halfway through already guys in this session can sort of just have a little bit more practice of the track some people are saying that it's not their favorite i actually quite enjoy this track just sort of lapping around but actually for passing it can be a little bit difficult so uh that'll be good to see if we can get some good racing out of this track people are saying it's sort of just an algarve but uh, but a little bit worse I could probably agree with that. It is uh, the worst track out of the two, but still good for some enjoyable racing today. And it seemed like the times were relatively close. So hopefully it should be good battling at the top for the highest points paying positions. And uh, we should see some good crashing as we did last time, especially at the first quarter of the race. That's always good to see. But uh, final sort of uh, shout outs from me was uh, I recently, yesterday, last night, I released a video called uh, the story of the failed circuit of wales i thought it was i think it's one of my best videos to be honest i think it's really really good about 14 15 minutes if you guys have that sort of time make sure to go and check it out after this stream uh it is an interesting video about a circuit obviously in wales that was never actually built but was a huge project put forward by a bloke and got government backing and basically just wasted all the money so uh really interesting story i'd, I'd highly recommend that you go and uh, that you go and check that out But uh, otherwise than that, I also want to ask you guys a favour because I am I was supposed to have an interview with William Story yesterday. Now, that didn't happen. He didn't turn up, uh, which was slightly frustrating. He did send me a text saying, like, apologising and saying that he was in a meeting. Uh, I want this interview to happen, and I'm sure you guys do. I really, really, really want to interview him because I think it would be great to just see his views and opinions and actually get some bloody explanation on what the hell happened with him and Hass. So if you guys can tweet him, I believe he's at Rich Energy CEO. drop him a little tweet saying, Oi, Mr. Story, please get on the Moto Meerkat YouTube channel and explain yourself because we want to see you on there and we want to see Sir Meerkat interviewing you. So uh, make sure you do that. But thank you very much, guys, for continually supporting me in my endeavours. And I hope you're enjoying this second round at Catalonia so far. People starting to uh, starting to put in some more times here. What are people saying? Lovely cat he is. Hi, Brian, as well. Nunu Marcus says, hi, Brian. Ben says, lovely cat. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll give him a, I'll give him a little stroke now for you guys. I'll give him a little stroke. <laughs> 
Vibe Noodle says this should be interesting. Uh, that's what I'm hoping, mate. That's what I'm hoping. See some signs going. See some times uh, going in now. Now we've got a uh, man out on track. This is GSR Raptor. Someone we haven't seen yet in the series, but it'll be interesting to see how he does in the times. Now he's obviously replacing Sam Malicious, so he's taken up the seat in at the Audi R8 in a very, very interesting, very, very interesting in the D Demonia, I believe it is Demonio uh, livery of the Audi R8 LMS Endurance Racing Team. So uh, interesting. Then just ahead of him in 12th place at the moment, yet set a time is McGintis. Now he was, as I said earlier, leading last week's race until he had a little bit of a calamity. So hopefully he can salvage some points today and be able to challenge in the championship uh, very, very soon. But uh, yeah, just sort of at the moment waiting for this four minutes to trickle down to zero. Then we'll be able to see them continue going around again for another 15 minutes, set in some more times and properly see how the grid will stack up for the race. Now let me go on to... He's gone in the pits now. Get the... Oh, where's that gone? There we are. Get the map up. Oh dear. Formula E slash reviews. Disconnected again. Great. Oh, and McGintis it says disconnected. That's not good. YTB4 Ferrari disconnected. Oh my goodness. This is this is terrible. What is happening? McGintis joined. Right. SOR Leclerc, I believe, has just come over the line. Then we've got Rundle just behind. See if he can go any faster. Not today. Then uh, Raptor's just behind. He goes across the line. I don't think he... Uh, oh, yeah, he does. He goes ninth. And then Toddy Games also set the time as well, but I don't, I, don't think he, uh, I don't think he improved. Raptor has an exclamation mark by his name. I believe that's probably track limits. FYD Reviews joins again. Hopefully once we're in the actual proper... Oh, dear. Raptor's gone wide at the first corner. That's not great. At least he's getting out of everyone's way. That's good. Good lad. Well done. Uh, good, always good to see some actual sportsmanship among racers. We don't like people taking each other out. That's never good to see. So uh, we've got Formula 1E reviews as well. Just starting his lap. Where was he? In the uh, very, very stunning, always evolving Nissan GTR. So it'd be great to see how he does. I uh, Where did he finish last time? Let me just quickly check my results. He managed to finish seventh last time. He was last on track. So last of the actual... Uh, Actual finishers. Oh, bloody hell. Watch out there, Raptor. Coming back on on the track in front of F1 Eurobees. And uh, so he managed to pick up four points. So that just shows, just stay in the lobby, stay on the track and finish the race and you're, and you're probably going to get some points because there's probably going to be some crashing or people disconnecting or just general kerfuffles going on. So uh, just take that as a uh, as a warning. <laughs> but good on F1 Eurobees. Thank you again, Dad, for joining, uh, joining the series and I wish you all the best for today. Now, two minutes left of the session. We have got, who was that? We've got Arcelin just coming over. Oh, I thought he was going to set a lap, but no, he's coming in the pit. So I'll switch back to Jack. He is currently leading the timesheets at the top with a 145.8. He's coming down the straight now. We'll see if he is able to uh, able to extend his lead at all. He's not. About two tenths down. Going to start another lap, but he has got boys coming out of the pit lane. We've got the Lamborghini of GSR CJ Pants. And there was another car, I believe it was SOR Leclerc. Now, CJ, um, CJ Pants has got out of the way. Very nicely there at the first corner. And there it was indeed. SOR Leclerc has also come out of the pits. Hopefully they don't, they don't hold up Jack too much. But we'll see if he can set a decent lap for this session. He's down in the 145. So uh, doing very well already on pace. As he was at the last track. Just didn't get too lucky in the race. Uh, managed to pick up seven points. Obviously with six, uh, six points for fifth place. And an extra point for the fastest lap as well last time. And again, as I said, seeming to ping, seeming to uh, bring the pace today with uh, six tenths up on second place, Sear Washington. And then Sear Washington is about six tenths up again on WRL Leclerc, who was looking good at the race at Algarve until he pitted. And then the pit strategy really came into play. So as we know, a 45-minute race today, which means pit strategy can really, really come into play and uh, can really, really jostle up the results so it'll be interesting to see in the race what exact tactics people decide to take whether they go short go for an undercut or whether they go long and go for the overcut or whether they sort of chill in the mid range now last time at Algarve I believe it was uh, the oh, I'm going to get it wrong now aren't I it was the undercut, I believe, that was stronger in uh, Algarve that the boys did. And McGintis was able to get a very, very sizable jump on the other lads. So it'll be interesting to see if he brings the same tactics today and is able to uh, 
maybe challenge for the win again as Jack comes across the line, does not go any faster. And that is the session over. Who do we have behind him? We've got Rundle just behind him coming across the line. Who goes a little bit faster. And then Todd E. Games, who goes much faster. There we go. Up to 1.1 seconds behind the quickest time now. As we've got some other people coming down the straight. WRR Leclerc is spinning it in the barrier. <laughs> this has come into the pits. And F1 E reviews finally sticks to timing. Go doing a 1.48.5 in this practice session. But hopefully that has allowed for the boys to get a little bit more practice in today. Uh, allowed to improve their times a little bit. Just get generally some more experience. And bring some good racing for everyone watching on the stream. Let's have a look if anyone said anything in the chat anymore. Nice project car service. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the servers on project cars have always been great, haven't they, mate? Oh, they're, they're so frustrating to deal with, but uh, but we move. It's all good. We'll see if Arsenal can finally set a time now. He hasn't done the best line out of the, out of the final corner. So, uh, not sure if he's going to do uh, any blinding time. No, he goes 11 seconds slower, but we'll move back to Arctic. See if he can set anything faster. Not particularly. And that is it. Practice session over. There's a beautiful inside of a garage. And we'll wait for the... Uh, the loading wheel of death to come through. And there we are. We'll continue through to qualifying. There we go. We'll see. Firstly, who's able to make it out on track first. There we go. It looks like Sear Washington has crashed out of the pits. That's nice. Then, no, there we go. There he is. Sear Washington coming out of the pit lane first. Flashing his lights. Come on, baby. Come on. Woohoo. We out here for qualifying. Second round of the Moto America World Series. I'm very excited to see how the boys do today. As the whole field begins to trickle out, we've got Gear 3 Gaming just behind in his beautiful Acura. Oh, dear. See, Washington's already spun it at the first corner. That's the problem with, uh, with blue tyres. Very, very cold tyres means absolutely no grip. So YTB Ferrari is going to claim track position on him there. And uh, hopefully give him some more pace to, uh, well, more space to set some pace, is what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, boy, Ben, it's quality time, baby, in the chat. Come on. So excited to see how the boys do. I'm assuming, Ben, that you're, oh dear, who was that in the background? I believe that's Gear 3 Gaming off in the gravel. That's not going to help with the heating of the tyres, mate. Watch out as he comes back on track. Just gets ahead of... Uh, Arsenal FC 145. He's now going... Oh, dear, he's gone off again. He's gone off again. Maybe he's uh, just getting out of the way of people, but going through the gravel there is not going to help. Best to just move over on track, really. But uh, I guess it's another way of doing it. I guess it's another way of doing it. As Raptor had uh, had another exclamation mark, I believe that's... So he's got no, no penalties, I believe, at the moment. So... Uh, Yeah, I had that last time. How do I... Ah, there we go. Aha, there we go. Right. Why am I in the cockpit of this car? What's happened there? I don't want gear three gaming. I want someone on track. There we go. Right. Who's at the front? Sorry, boys. I'm all I'm all over the place today, lads. I'm all over the place. I'm trying to get my head around this body system again. It's very difficult to... Uh, <laughs> it's the Spanish Grand Prix. <laughs> Great. That's fantastic. We'll see... Uh, We'll see if any of the boys uh, are coming round to set laps now. What, why is Gear 3 Gaming coming out the pits again? Hopefully, yeah, he's going to let YTB Ferrari through. But he was just going round and now he's gone back in the pits and changed again. Maybe I don't know if he crashed into a barrier while he was taking uh, avoiding action onto the gravel at some point. But, yeah, while they're going round for qualifying, we'll just let the boys start to uh, have their laps trickle in. We'll have a little chat about Formula 1, because why not? I'm super, as I said at the start of the stream, super excited to see the first race tomorrow. And today is the first sort of uh, piece of action that we'll probably get as WRR Leclerc moves out of the way of YTB Ferrari, just chilling at the edge of the track. As you can see him there in the background. But uh, it's looking very interesting. To be fair, as I, I did say, people, so many people are saying Max Verstappen to win the championship. Boys, I said it like weeks ago, months ago. It's not going to happen. Mercedes are going to continue their dominance until 2022. 100% confirmed. And yeah, this, the practice that we've seen has basically confirmed that because uh, the Mercedes are at a 1-2 still currently. I think in, I, th I believe in both sessions they were, uh, both doing very, very, very well on the timing sheets. But as we thought from 
the preseason at Australia, the bracing points are looking extremely good. Extremely, extremely good. So Perez, this is looking like his season to to properly pull it out of the bag and uh, show his worth, really, because he's been in this sport a while. He obviously had his move up to McLaren quite early on in his career, but that was just as they were on their downfall. He didn't really get to show himself, and then I think he got replaced by, by Magnussen, who also got a bit screwed as well. So, so... Uh, Mr. Aiden one absolute scenes inbound. Yes, mate, absolute scenes are coming. We've got the first guys coming over to set their proper times. YTB Ferrari with a 147. Then behind him is Sear Washington. Slightly faster, about half a second faster. Another 147, though. Then we've got Toddy slightly behind as well. Oh, no, that's Jack. Toddy's set a time. There we go. 148-0. Then we've got F1 EUVs is going to come over the line and set a time. Is he? Mm, yes, he is. 150.2 then just behind him begin to set a 147.8 then we got Arctic behind them Let's see if he comes over the line to set a time no I believe he's just starting a, a lap then we got SOR Leclerc coming across as well Gear 3 Gaming is coming over the final corner loads of people coming through to set laps now who was that? CJ Pants has come over the line then behind him we got WRL Leclerc who uh I believe was just coming around again. Lots of people setting times now. Wow. YTB Ferrari comes into the pits. Rundle sets a very good time, to be fair. With a 146.8. So, again, looking like 146 is the norm. But Jack, bloody hell, as uh, Raptor takes uh, takes a wide line. Good, good on you, mate. Good on you. But Jack, again, coming in with the serious, serious pace. 145.9. Fair play to him. Serious, serious pace from him. Super excited to see how he does. And hopefully we can see some good racing with him at the front again. But, uh, yeah, I'm quite astounded by that. I think that was the first lap of the session. He's put in a 145. Fair play to him. Then Bass GT said Ferrari thoughts. Mate, they're completely off it, aren't they? Completely. I don't know what is going on. I don't know their head from their arse at this point. Uh, they haven't offered... They Obviously, we now we know the news of Seb wasn't even offered a contract. So now their fan base of Seb supporters is going to be, it's not going to be happy with them. Um, obviously, the Claire supporters will be very happy with that. But the car isn't great. The car wasn't looking brilliant at pre-season. And we were all a bit like, oh, dear. But people were like, oh, are they sandbagging or not? Oh, we don't even know. Blah, 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 blah. But uh, now we know that they really aren't. And that their car for this, uh, for the Australian, sorry, for the Austrian rounds, not Australian. The Austrian rounds is going to be different to... Uh, the car that's going to be at Hungary, I believe, is where they're bringing in that first, uh, the first change to the car. As oh my God, Jack goes even faster, a 145.3. We're getting into the low 145s now. That is insane. Fair play to you, mate. Fair play to you. A Sear Washington had set a faster time than his previous. That's all. He's very off there. He had set a faster time than his previous, or the 146.3. Uh, I think he's properly binned it. Where's he gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? As Toddy goes past, I believe he must be just sat in the... Yeah, there you go. He was just coming out the gravel there. There you go. As Toddy goes past. But yeah, he's done better with the 146.3. But that's still over a second off Jack. That is that is immense. That is immense. But this is the man. Well, this is technically the man you want to be watching out for. Is Toddy Games. He's currently down an eighth. Obviously, not, not, not too many times set now. We're only about halfway through the qualifying session. But he was the man to win the race last week. Take all... 15 points, the top possible 15 points. So we interested to see how he does today, whether he's able to uh, increase his lead further with another win, or whether someone else is going to be able to uh, to close the gap or possibly even snatch the title away from him. Obviously only in the second round, so uh, not all to play for currently, but it is interesting to see how everyone ends up stacking against each other. We were saying, hype for tomorrow, qualifying in a few hours. Yes, Ben, so hyped, mate. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Then Bass GT, you have to hope, Meerkat. You have to have faith. Otherwise, the season becomes depressing. <laughs> that is true, mate. That is true. Mate, I'm just depressed anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> um, honestly, I haven't had faith in a good season for years now. <laughs> I think I started watching like three years ago and I haven't had faith in a season, like, ever. It's always just got... I've always just gone in being like, right, so Mercedes is going to dominate and I'll be interested in watching the battle behind, basically. Uh, 
He also passed GT also says you have to have faith in Maxi. Ben said this is Max's best chance, and even then Mercedes are dominating. That's saying something. Yeah, that's true. One hundred percent, this is Max's best chance he's had so far. But still, he's just not. I just don't think he quite can be world champion. Yeah, I think it's definitely set on. I, Bottas could charge. We got Bottas fifteen thousand point oh, um, the twenty millionth iteration of Bottas, and uh, maybe he could bring a challenge to. Lewis Hamilton this year, I'm not so sure if, I, if I'm being particularly honest. I just don't think he quite, he's quite got it. As uh, Gear 2 Gaming goes slightly wide. Oh, he spun it and he's crashed. There he goes, back to the bits, back to the bits he goes. As McGinnis has a very, very messed up car. It might be the same as we had at Algarve, where he had a completely messed up car from a crash. But uh, actually, it didn't affect him at all, and he was still setting properly quick times. So, oh, and he goes straight on and he goes back to the pits. Right. Maybe he did have proper damage then. As CJ Patterson's off as well. Everyone seems to be bidding it today. Everyone's bidding it. But we've got YTB Ferrari following Arctic. They had a fantastic little battle at uh, Algarve. So hopefully we can see that again today at Catalonia. As CJ Pats rejoins there. Well done for waiting, mate. Well done for waiting. We've got a nice little, uh, little gang of racers here today. Obviously, if you want to... Uh, if you want to get involved with the Moto Meerkat World Series, I've got a reserve list. We have got people uh, dropping out at races now, so uh, the, the reserve list is dwindling fast. So if you would like me to add, it, add you to the reserve list in case people drop out in the future and I can get you involved in the series, drop me a message, Instagram or Twitter. Instagram is at Moto Meerkat. Twitter is at Moto underscore Meerkat. Uh, ben says your point system brings you back to Mario Kart Wii. Does it? What's the, uh, it might be the point system up there. I thought I thought of it myself, but uh, it might be. It just seemed the most fair, the most fair point system to me. So uh, possibly it is. Vasan Game Channel says, "What is it?" Well, the point. I'm assuming you mean the point system. The point system is first position gets 15 points, second position gets 12, third position gets 10, fourth position gets eight, fifth gets six, sixth gets five, seventh gets four, eighth gets three, ninth gets two, and tenth gets one. So I think that's a pretty fair point system. But it's looking at the moment like Jack is completely running away from it. He's currently in the pits, but with a second on Sear Washington. We'll see if anyone can close up currently. Then Jack said, how many laps is the race? It is 22 laps, Jackie boy. 22 laps. So one lap shorter than the Algarve race was last week. Because uh, the lap time is, is, a, is a few seconds faster. I think two or two or Sorry, the lap time here is a few seconds slower. So two or three seconds slower here, which means we get one less lap in. This should still provide for some fantastic racing. More and more people coming out on track now. We've only got three people in the pits at the moment, which is uh, Triple Crown, Gear 3 Gaming, uh, Raptor and Leclerc. But that is interesting. I believe that's SOR, yeah, SOR Leclerc in uh, currently bringing up the rear. But with WRL Leclerc, very, uh, very difficult one there. Still bringing up third place. We've got Arctic coming down the pit straight now. Uh, where is he? Uh, there he is. Don't think he went fast, though. And we also had YCP Ferrari going over the line as well. Not quite fast. So look at the split there, though. One of them on a 147.699, and the other one on a 147.718. So very, very, very close between those two. Should make some interesting battles. McGintis only slightly far behind, but interesting to see him there in ninth. Not doing fantastically on the times at the moment. Hopefully we can see him uh, start to improve. But with F1 E reviews, I think he went slightly faster on that lap. But still not enough to uh, to bump him up the leaderboard. With uh, SOR Leclerc hopefully being able to increase on his 2 minutes 36. I don't think that's a hot lap from him. He's only got 2.5 minutes left in the session to do so. So hopefully he gets around to doing that relatively quickly. We'll begin to on another quick lap. It's being just followed behind by F1 E reviews in the beautiful, as I said, Nissan GTR. With Sear Washington improving his time. Very well done to him. Oh, oh he almost spins it out of that left-hander. Difficult one to get the power down there. But he's on a 145.7. I believe uh, this track, especially in the heat of the sun, uh, not being particularly grippy and the car's sort of sliding all over the place, not being able to get to the tyres for the right temperature. And uh, not having the easiest time in setting laps. Well, everyone apart from Jack, of course. Who's been doing absolutely fantastically with that 145.3. Insane. 146 being the standard time. We've got three guys in that sort of region. As in, someone else goes faster. I believe that was Toddy. Yes, it was. Toddy comes over the line with a 146.6. 
about what literally uh, exactly a tenth of a second behind WRL Leclerc. And then that was about two hundredths of a second quicker than Rundle, who's in fifth, who's on another lap, being chased down by Raptor, who's currently in 11th in that Audi. It'll be interesting to see, uh, see how they do, whether these guys can increase any more. With CJ Pats as well, just ahead of him in 10th. The 147.9, just creeping into the 147s there. But uh, but yeah, it seems to be the pace. Oh, as uh, he cuts the corner a little bit there. CJ Pats, unlucky stuff, unlucky. But uh, yeah, just the session starts to wind down now. Less than a minute to go. I believe most people are uh, going to be on their final laps unless they are coming around the final corner. As I've completely forgot to bring the map up again. Bloody hell. Second time again. And someone, someone is coming through the final sector. Let's see if we can find them. A lot of people... Uh, a lot of people coming around. Someone is coming over the line. I believe they've gone in the pits, though. They have indeed. They have indeed. As Rundle goes slightly wide. Who have we got then? Someone coming over the line. They're going to get another lap, though. Uh, and they don't change the timing. And YTB Ferrari is going to come through as well. We're going to have to wait and see. He's going to get another lap as well. But he's not fast at that time. So lucky he has another one. Rundle's also going to get another lap. Let's see if he can go faster on this one, though. Not today. But behind him is CJ Pants. Hill's going to get another lap with 10 seconds left. Who was behind him? WRL Leclerc. He's just going to get another lap in with... Who is that behind? That's Raptor. Just going across the line. I think he's going to get another one, but that means Toddy Games is going to come over the line. He's going to finish in fourth place with 146. Six. Then Sear Washington just behind him, but actually ahead of him on the timing sheet with a 145.7. And he's also finished his session now. So that's Sear Washington and Toddy Games with their timing set in place. They finished with the other guys being able to come through and go around for another lap. We've got Arsenal leading those boys. Who's that coming around the final corner? It is Arctic. Seems to be doing an interesting line there. I'm not sure if he'll be going any faster that time. He goes a little bit faster, up to a 147.4, but still uh, a little bit of a gap between him and seventh place. But we've got McGintis coming around. He's bumped himself up to sixth so far. Can he go any faster for the final lap of the session? He goes a tiny bit faster, about a tenth of a second, up to a 46.9, but still just off that pack of 146s that are slightly in front of him in the timing sheet. So McGintis not finishing last week's race and sixth on the grid for today's race. So not his best performance, but still doing very well in that little gaggle of cars. So hopefully we can see some good racing between them. As we've got lots of people now coming through uh, the final part of the circuit. Who's that coming around the final corner? It must be Arsenal. He's off. So he's not going to be setting up faster time. Hopefully he gets out of the way of YTB Ferrari. Good lad. Doesn't, doesn't knock into him. See if YTB Ferrari. And Rundle's going wide in the background as well. He's not going to go faster. Neither does YTB. Neither does Arsenal. They're all done. Rundle's not going to go any faster as well. He went uh, very wide at the final corner. So that's not going to see any change. And then we've got WRL Leclerc. I believe the final person to come across the line. And he doesn't go any faster. Oh, there we go. Nice view of the rear wing of, I think that's the Nissan GTR. Possibly. But a very beautiful car nonetheless, whichever one it is. But now, we're going to be jumping into the race. Goodness, I am excited. We're going to get the boys on the grid. They're going to be able to... Uh... There we go. Map is up. We're up for the boys. Everyone seems to be in as well. 14 cars on the grid. Amazing. Nothing has gone wrong with the game yet. I don't want to jinx it, but nothing has gone wrong. And I'm so excited. We're going to get the racing underway what are you more excited for, this race or Formula 1? Because there's only one answer, and it is the Moto Meerkat World Series. Come on, boys. Qualifying is done. Got about 13 people watching currently. Hopefully that's not unlucky, 13. We'll run through your grid for today's session after I've had a little swig. Make sure my throat isn't too parched for the start. So we've got your grid. For the second round of the Moto Meerkat World Series, is Jack on pole, the WRL Leclerc on second, Sear Washington third, Toddy Games, 4th. Rundle in 5th. McGintis in 6th. Gear 3 Gaming in 7th. Arctic in 8th. YTB Ferrari in ninth, CJ Pants in 10th. GSR Raptor in 11th. F1 E Reviews in 12th. Arsenal in 13th. And SOR Leclerc in 14th. Who's your money on? Stick it in the chat. What are we saying? What are we thinking for the start of today's race? Look at that grid. It is stunning. Look at all those cars. All those different liveries. God, they look beautiful. So excited for this race to get underway. And see, out of the 22 laps, what people's strategies are going to be. How the race is going to run. Ben said, I wish I had your servers, John. Yeah, I know. I don't know how we managed to do so well here. 
Uh, we had a lot of people leaving and joining in practice, but hopefully everyone could be okay for this race and we can get everything sorted. We can get everything started very soon with people ready up after they've sorted out their sort of pit strategies and setups and fuel loads. Brian is completely passed out on the sofa next to me. Uh, got his mouth completely open. I could stick my finger in there. Uh, <laughs> so he's ready for the race to start as well. <laughs> get some pogs in the chat for Brian. But uh, there we go. I believe we are about to go underway. We are sinking, ready to go for the second round of the Moto Meerkat World Series. Lights come on. Five red lights for the second round at Algarve. And we are green for go. McGintis getting a flyer of a start in fifth. How's he done that? There's a bit of barging. McGintis goes on to the... On, oh, and Arsenal goes off. He's, he's pinned it at the, at the pit, entry, uh, pit, pit exit. Pit exit. As WR on the close, managed to get on the lead. We're looking up the inside for Jack. It could be a touch there. Not quite. It does go wide, though. He does go wide. Manages to hold it as Jack. Can he make it round the outside? There's lots of people going off in the background. I believe that was McGintis in the gravel. He's going to come back on the track. Where's he gone? Oh, my goodness. It's absolutely mental at the start. I believe there's been a little bit of a crash. Gear 3 Gaming is off. And so is Raptor. McGintis has left the session. I believe he's not had the best uh, the best running. There's Sir Washington is round into the gravel. He's been there. I'm not sure if there was any contact there, but he's round into the gravel. As what a crazy start. Absolutely mental. I miss some of it because all the people were jumping around so much. I was trying to click on them, but then they move about 10 million positions and we'd lose it. So I, oh, what has happened there? What has happened there? Absolute mental scenes. McGintis. I feel so sorry for him. I feel so sorry for you, Arthur. Oh, so who was that? That was Rundle going straight on. Oh, dear. He might lose a position for that. He might actually be okay. F1 he reviews is going to steal that fifth position. Incredible scenes from him. He's done very well. Not sure where he was on the grid, but he definitely wasn't fifth. I think he was sort of ninth or tenth. As uh, Toddy Games goes up the inside of Jack for second place. Can he hold him off on the exit? He can indeed. As Whitey B. Ferrari goes wide there, but he's managed to make it up the fourth. He just kept it. Oh, little battle in the background as well. Raptor and Rundle are going to slip up the inside as Rundle and oh, everybody reviews have a little bit of rubbing there. Rundle's going to continue. Oh, so, oh dear, Raptor's, Raptor's binned it. Raptor's, Raptor's binned it. He's off. As uh, everybody reviews actually hasn't lost any positions there. He's done okay. But there's a slight gap now, about a second between uh, Games and Jack. I'm not sure what's happened What's happened there. I feel, as I was saying, feel very bad for uh, YTV4 always coming in the pits. Um, unless that's some sort of interesting strategy. I don't believe he had any damage. So, not sure what he's doing there, but there, there we are. I feel very, very bad for uh, McGintis. He had a terrible first race. Got absolutely mullered by a back marker. And uh, we're going to see a move for the lead. Toddy Games is going to try and sneak up the inside of WRL Leclerc. As they do make contact on the exit of the corner. Little bit of rub in there, boys. Come on, come on. Be nice to each other. Be nice. But WR Leclerc is going to continue to attempt to hold it around the outside. He's not going to be able to do so. He's going to slot in just behind Todd again. He's going to look for the switch back though at this corner. Possibly try and get the power down for the exit. But he's not going to be able to do so. He's going to hang back behind Toddy. But Toddy Games has managed to steal the lead of today's race. Obviously the man, as I said, who won the first round is now leading the second round. So fair, fair play to him. Doing absolute bits there. There was a little battle going on behind here that I think we're going to switch back to. We've got F1 e reviews in fourth. Just, beho just uh, behind is Rundle. And then he's followed by Gear 3 Gaming as well. This could work out to be an interesting battle for some decent points paying positions as well. Coming down the uh, the back straight. Rundle not getting a very good exit. And Gear 3 Gaming is going to look to go round the outside. Rundle's holding the curb on the inside, the apex. Gear 3 Gaming hoping to get a good exit, but not quite happening that time around. There's the gap at the front. It's looking relatively steady as well. Hopefully, Toddy can't pull too much of a lead, and we can see some good battling for uh, for that winning position. But Jack's fallen off now. I don't know what I don't know what's gone on with him. He had such 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 good pace in uh, in qualifying and practice, but just it's lost out uh, from the lead there. Obviously, starting on pole, and he's fallen down to third now. We'll move. Slightly further back, F1 New Reviews has managed to pull a slight gap on Rundle and Gear 3 Gaming because they're having a lovely little fight down the main straight. Gear 3 in the slipstream. He pulls out to the inside. Is he going to try and send the move? Rundle six to the outside. Closes off to the apex. We've got a lock up from Gear 3 Gaming. He manages to hold on. Follows Rundle up and through. And this is perfect opportunity for F1 New Reviews to run away. See if he can try and catch up to Jack in third as Gear 3 Gaming's gone wide. Oh, dear. Just as I say that, 
He's slightly binned it at that corner, just lost a couple of seconds. But that's allowed Ronald to turn his attention forward to F1 of your reviews and attempt to start attacking as Gear 3 Gaming's gone off. He's in the gravel. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Unlucky, mate. Yeah, he's completely fallen off the train now. This is going to leave Rundle and F1 of your reviews to fight it out for fourth place instead. See what Rundle can do here. Where he's going to try and set up the move for. He goes quite deep into that corner. No way can he do the move there. Steve on the inside. A little bit of a bump, but he's done it. What a move there from Rundle. F1 of Reviews is going to try and hold around the outside, but I don't think that's going to be able to happen at this corner. See if he can get a good, better exit. As he does, they're going to get a lovely run down this straight. They're going to go side by side into the tight left handle. Rundle has got, Rundle has got the inside, though. F1 of Reviews tries to hang it around the outside. He does so, goes slightly off track, loses his balance, and can't quite do it. So what a move there by Rundle to sneak up into fourth place. Absolutely fantastic. As uh, Arthur says, see you, Mong, just goes off and comes back and punts me. Mate, that's so frustrating. The start was a bit uh, mental of this one. I'll, I'd like to see some onboards of that because that was a bit crazy. But I slightly missed out on what was happening. But we'll, we'll switch back to, uh, to first place. We've got Todd E, winner of the last round, who's still in first for this second round of the Moto Meerkat World Series, who's pulled a slight gap now, about a second on second place WRL Leclerc. So not the best for him as he's getting super hot in my room. I'm going to have to open another window. Jesus. Just too exciting, boys. Too exciting, all this racing. Way too exciting. But, uh, yeah, because of that crazy start, people getting punted, people spinning, people doing all sorts, it sort of meant that the field's a little bit more spread out than I'd like it to be. We'll, sw we'll swap back down to uh, sixth place at the moment. We have the two GSR boys. who are GSR wrapped up fighting with GSR CJ Pants for sixth place. This should be an interesting battle. Because Raptor was up doing quite well at one point, I think. And then I think he might have binned it into the gravel at some point. So, drop back down. But only to only to sick, to be fair. Because everyone seems to have a slight problem. Now, YTV Ferrari's down in eighth. Where he's pitted already. So, he's ten seconds behind CJ. But I'm not too sure what's happening. And look, gear three. What happened to him? Oh, he's gone to the pits as well. That's interesting. And I'm just thinking about what people's strategies are now. Um, because, yeah, I'm not sure if, if Leclerc comes in the pits as well. I guess a lot of people are possibly going for an earlier strategy then. I think we've seen about four or five people in the pits. Might be due to damage. They might have switched their strategy to change. But I did see a couple of people coming in that definitely did not have any damage. So slightly odd to see that there. But, yeah, see Washington, the supposed offender to Arthur. Uh, getting punted, so we'll have a look at that after the race, guys. Uh, we'll uh, be open to looking at any uh, wrongdoings as such that might have gone on. But it's all good at the moment. Your Arctic up in 10th, not uh, having the best time. I'm not sure he might have pitted. It, it would seem most likely that he's pitted. But uh, CJ Pants was on the right on the back of Raptor, but he seems to have slightly fallen off, about a second between them at this point. Then who's that? Rundle is pitted as well. LSG Rundle also in the pits. So that has allowed for Raptor and CJ Pants to sneak up into fifth and sixth as well. And that's opened some clean air for F1 e reviews to uh, soldier on and continue putting in some decent laps. Up to fourth, doing very, very well this race so far. We'll see how people's pit strategies can do. I think Rundle's gone for an early pit stop to try and undercut these boys at the front. But it'd be interesting to see when sort of Toddy, WRL, Leclerc decide to come in. And possibly switch up the leaderboard slightly. Because if Randall could jump up, what was he in? He was in fourth. About sort of five seconds off uh, Jack in third. We'll just see if he's able to jump him after the pit stops. But yeah. Whew. I was just still thinking about that first lap. I want to know what exactly happened to uh, to the boys. I'm not sure uh, what happened to too many of them. Because people were going off left, right and centre. I was focused on the front running battle. But down in the mid back, it was going absolutely hectic. So, but this has meant that uh, people have slightly fallen off each other. We're going to move back to... Well, what is happening there? Raptor slowed down a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if he had a slowdown penalty, possibly. Yeah, there you go. He had a warning. So, I think maybe he slowed down uh, Slowed down for that warning. And that's allowed CJ Pants to sneak back up his inside. Raptor seemingly weaving all over the place. Right on the rear of his mate, CJ Pants. See if they can produce some uh, 
a decent, rabi a bleh, decent racing for the stream as Jack has also just come in the pits as well. That's going to allow F1 to sneak up into third place at the moment. A lot of undercutting going on, a lot of undercutting. So it'll be interesting to see where Jack does eventually come out of the pits in relation to Rundle. But then we've got Raptor and CJ Pants coming through the final corner. And they're going to sneak up past Jack as well. Neither of those two are pitted, I don't believe. And then there's YTB Ferrari just behind as well, who's going to be able to take the position off Jack too. So yeah, very exciting. Very exciting at the moment. Where's Rundle? Ah, there you go. He's coming through the final complex, I believe. Jack has just left his pit stop, so I don't think Rundle's going to be able to do him. Because he's just coming onto the pit straight now. And it seems like Jack is just coming out of the pits now. So yeah, wait so we can see uh, Rundle. Where is he? Coming on the main part of the pit straight. I think he's gained a few seconds on him. But I don't think quite as many as he hoped. I think there's maybe sort of three seconds in it now, I believe. But that'll be great to see once other people start pitting. Rundle and Jack will be moving forward to more the front of the field. Sort of third and fourth place they were when they pitted. So I hope that Rundle can uh, catch up. Yeah, he's a little bit behind, about a corner behind Jack. So hopefully he can put some good timings and catch up to him. And we can see some good racing between those two. The WRL Leclerc and Toddy Games coming across to start lap seven of the race. But they've come up behind Sear Washington 7, who's one of the back markers, who's yet to... Uh... What, what? I don't even know what I was going to say there. Oh, he's binned it. <laughs> he's binned it. There he is. Oh, he's reset onto track. Yep, he binned it there. Well, I mean, at least he got out of the way of the leaders by binning it, I guess. So that's good. But I did see SOR Leclerc just left the session. So I uh, have to sort that out after the race as well. See what his reasoning for that is. But Arthur, very frustrated in the chat. Two races in a row that he's been punted off. I got a great start. Sierra and Todd squeeze me on the straight. Sierra and Todd go off at turn one. I get past them and Sid just puts me in the wall. It happens, mate. It's very frustrating. Yeah, it's very frustrating that it's happened to you two races in a row that you've gotten uh, slightly mugged off there. But I did see... Uh, I did see at the start that you had a fantastic start, um, but, the, but the then you got uh, pushed into the wall, so uh, very frustrating for you there, Arthur. Uh, very, very unlucky. But hopefully, third round, third round you're going to bring it, Arthur, I bet. I bet you're going to bring it third round, so don't you worry, mate. So they, they got quite lucky there, Games and uh, Leclerc with the back marker. Sear Washington managing to pin it. So that was good. But Sir Washington seeming its odd. He has a very, very good pace in practice and qualifying, it seems. Doing decent times. And then the race, just same as Jack. Can't quite keep it, can't quite keep it together. And Sir Washington uh, falls down to last in this race. Only person not in the points currently. Sat in 11th place. I think he's quite a fair bit behind Gear 3 Gaming. Yeah, there's a whole, uh, practically a whole sector between them. So... Not going to be the closest battle there, as Leclerc has upped his pace, to be fair, I believe. Uh, goes slower than as quick as Delta, but he's down to under a second on uh, Toddy Games now. It was up to about almost one and a half at one point, so he's brought that down very nicely. I'd love to see a battle for first, boys. If you can do that for me, that would be brilliant. But uh, obviously, Toddy Games isn't going to want to be fighting. He's going to want to be putting ahead, so that's, uh, that's completely fair on him. But for the stream, obviously, just, 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 just do it for me, yeah, man. Just do it for me, thank you. Um, <laughs> WRL Leclerc continuing to set very, very quick, very, very quick times. As uh, I still, uh, there's no way of me checking who has and who hasn't pitted. So, it's slightly frustrating. As Raptor, he's in the pits, just got in the pits. But, we'll move back to this battle just in case anything happens. But, I believe he's got a penalty. Ah, oh dear. He has a 10 second penalty. Uh, so that'll be speeding in the pit lane, I assume. He might not have known. Hopefully he saved his... Uh, hopefully he saved his sort of replay of that. Because I'm happy to take that off. It was literally just like as you were entering the pit lane. It can be very frustrating, this game. You go over you go over that line, like a mile an hour, two miles an hour over. And it gives you 10 seconds. It's absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. But... There we go, we've got some support from Ben. For Ben. From Ben. So many Bens in the chat. <laughs> ben wanting uh, WRL Leclerc 
pit to pick up the pace and catch onto the back of Toddy Games. Hasn't been able to do it this lap, about the same sort of uh, distance, maybe even lost a little bit of time this time around. As he gets a slow down warning, but uh, hopefully it doesn't affect the racing too much. He does go faster on his quicker lap, quickest lap to be fair. He's, he's closed up the gap, but he's not, he's not using the slipstream seemingly. Toddy moving across to defend and uh, stop, sort of cut that slipstream off. Oh, who was that? That was uh, that was um, Gear 3 Gaming, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Gear 3 Gaming has spun it as well. He was uh, he was one of my top picks of this race and not doing his best ever. Been in it at the first corner there, down in 10th place currently. But I believe he has pitted, along with Sia Washington and Raptor and CJ Bantz all down here. Raptor lost about three seconds there, I believe, uh, I believe from pitting on CJ. I think they both pitted. But lost a little bit of time. Then we got slight space, so about six seconds forward to Arctic. Then Arctic is about 15 seconds off Rundle. But Rundle has done a very good job at closing this gap down to Jack. Jack's last lap being a 148.5 and Rundle's being a 147.5. So a second on that last lap, and we'll see them come through again this time around. As there we are, Jack with a 150 and Rundle with a 148. So another two seconds on that lap. The gap being closed down ever so much, but we'll have to move back to the leading battle. We've got Leclerc right on the rear of Toddy Games. Only a couple of tenths on them now. We'll keep switching back between the Rundle and Jack fight and the Leclerc and Games fight. But obviously, this is the battle for the lead. This is what we all want to see. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, Todd decides to come in to pit this lap, because that would make most sense. He wants to be hot lapping. But no, he doesn't. He stays out for another lap. I would have thought he might want to come in because he wants to be hot lapping and setting the quickest times as possible. Got a lot of pressure behind him from WRL Leclerc. But equally for the stream. Come on, lads. Let's see a battle here. Little bit of uh, gas being lost on the straight there by WRL Leclerc. But he gets a great entrance into that corner. Hopefully a good exit as well. He does indeed. He looks to go around the outside of Todd. Todd holds the inside line. Can the Claire switch it back? No way has he done that. What a move. Switches it back up the inside into first. And is able to get the move done before the next corner. Oh, I thought Toddy might slip it up the inside there again. As Leclerc goes wide, he loses time. They slap, <laughs> slap into each other. But a slight mistake there from Leclerc. Leaves him back in second. How frustrating is that? After a beautiful move from him, switch back and got the inside. He then bends it himself, goes slightly wide, loses the traction. And uh, Leclerc, sorry, Games is able to slip back up the inside again. We'll switch back to this battle now with Jack still defending from Rundle. Both of them continuing to stay out. I believe they both pitted. I want to say they both pitted. That would that would make most sense. I believe everyone behind F40 Reviews has pitted as uh, Gear uh, Gear Gaming also comes out the pits. I'm not sure if uh, oh. No way is he going to send that. That was really far back. I wasn't even commentating it because I didn't think it was so far back. Rundle with an absolute send into the first corner as he goes a little bit wide. Jack seeing if he can hold it around the outside. See if he can do that switch back similarly to Leclerc. Not quite. Not quite. Rundle holds him off on the inside. Could we see another move? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. But Gear 3 Gaming, as you said, coming out the pits. Not having the best race today. It's his first time in the league. So thank you for coming along, Triple Crown Racing. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. But uh, not having the most luck today. Seen him spin a couple of times. As hopefully he gets out of the way for these boys. He does indeed. Moves over to the inside and lets them through. Very, very kind of them. Hopefully he can just get some sort of more hot lapping in. And just see, uh, see if he can get up uh, his pace for the next round. As he's a permanent addition to the championship now in that Acura. It's be good to see him, uh, see him racing more often. As I didn't even notice how much of a gap Rundle has already pulled on Jack. That is like fair play to Rundle. He's got some serious pace here. Look at that, Jack going slightly wide. It might even get into a fight with Gear Three Gaming now. Have to wait and see. But we'll leave the Rundle battle. We'll move back to first place. Did move back in that time because the gap had opened up to about eight or nine tenths between the leaders. And now they're back down to about four or five. Hopefully we can see, uh, not wishing any mistakes on uh, Todd, but hopefully we can see some more battling, some more good racing from these lot. 
as Leclerc gets quite a bit of oversteer on the exit of that corner. Not able to get the power quite down enough on that straight. Toddy with quite the defensive line through there though, but to be fair, a perfect line. Hitting up the apex well on the exit, takes lots of curb on that left under. Unsettles him for the right, but he's able to sweep it round. And yeah, just doing doing very, very nice job there, Todd. It's just just uh, waiting for Todd and Leclerc to decide their pit strategy now. As you can see there, lots of understeer from Todd's car. The tyres clearly not enjoying it as Leclerc does indeed decide to pit on lap 11 of this 22 lap race. Exactly down the midpoint, which is going to allow Toddy Games to begin his hot lapping. Seeing if he can put in the pace now to allow for him to make a sort of overcut on WRL Leclerc. What can he do? What can he do? We'll have to wait and see further forward. But we look back to third place. F1 e reviews again, sort of in no man's land in third place at the moment. In between the guys who have pitted and the guys who haven't. I mean, I believe uh, he has. Yeah, he hasn't pitted yet. He's just coming in now. Is F1 e reviews? So have to wait and see where he indeed slots back in. And we move back to fourth place. I believe everyone has pitted now except Todd. I want to put that out there. Because YTB Ferrari uh, didn't do amazing last race. I believe he was sixth, I want to say. Uh, oh, he's coming in the pits. Okay, maybe he hadn't pitted that yet then. Maybe I'm incorrect. So there you go. He, Him and the F1 of are going to be closer when they come out of the pits. But that means that Rundle. Rundle's just behind Sear Washington. So hopefully Sear is able to move over and let him through. No more Punterino, please. But look at that. Look at that gap. Wait, where's Leclerc? Leclerc's already out in second quarter. Okay, I was going to say. So, uh, Rundle moves up to the third position. Takes those guys in the pits. And Sear Washington moves out of the way. That's very kind of him. And so, Rundle goes wide. Goes straight over the first corner. Not great for him. He's going to get a slow down there. Interesting to see how he deals with that. Whether he does slow down or whether he allows the penalty to lapse. He's pulled a great gap on, uh, on Jack in fourth place currently. But both of them have obviously pitted third and fourth. Toddy Games also comes into the pits on lap 12. So interesting how one lap difference. Uh, new tyres for Leclerc versus old tyres for Toddy Games. We'll see if Leclerc can do some sort of hot lap. And how he can do, obviously, with Toddy Games just coming in the pits. And WRL Leclerc coming into the final sector now. Can they close up? Obviously... Those two in the front have quite the sizable gap against Rondo, you can see, just coming down that straight now. And he has a slight gap down to fourth. And then two back markers, I believe it is. Yeah, Sear Washington has just overtaken um, Gear 3 Gaming on track for position. I'm not sure if Gear 3 knew he was allowing uh, somebody who was basing for position through there. But... Uh, there we are, WRL Leclerc coming onto the pit straight as he gets a lot of oversteer there, almost into the barrier, very close. <coughs> but Toddy comes out of the pits with a sizable lead, let's just say. I'm not sure what strategy he's done there, but he's managed to certainly gain about a second, yeah, it seems like, a second on, uh, on Leclerc there, pulling out about a two-second lead. So the next half of the race, we're going to have to wait and see if WRL Leclerc is able to close that gap at all. Or uh, or whether we'll simply be watching a uh, victory for Toddy Games if he just continues to hot lap it until the end. As Arthur Kizis is not particularly happy with Sear Washington in the chat. I mean, understandable from, uh, from what seemed to happen, but mate, chill. It's okay, we'll sort it out after the race. We'll sort it out. But yeah, not a huge amount happening on track. There's a couple of people close down here. And is that really the closest? Wow, okay. So the leaders are the uh, closest cars on track at the moment. With only the, uh, to be fair, Leclerc closed down a second already. I guess having those tyres scrubbed in already is uh, good for him. And it's been good for his pace. Because he's already setting uh, quickest lap times for himself. Closing up very nicely to uh, the Toddy game. So we'll... Uh, Check back on that baton in a second. We'll have a quick look down the grid. Obviously, Rundle in third. We looked at already. Jack in fourth. Not doing incredible lap times, I must say. But with uh, F1 e reviews slightly behind in fifth. 
with a 218. I believe he pitted last lap. That would make sense. But he, he has a uh, Sear Washington intent just behind. Someone has left because it was 11 two seconds ago. And now it's only 10 people. So someone's gone. Not sure who that is. But that means everyone who's on track currently will be getting points. Sear Washington, what are you doing, lad? In last place. Blocking Arctic heavily. Who's not on position. There we go. He lets him through. Well done, Sear Washington, lad. Does end, up, uh, does end up letting him through. Arctic possibly losing a little bit of time, but still only about two seconds between F1 e reviews and Arctic. So hopefully Arctic can put in the pace. Obviously Arctic being JWF1. Hopefully he can put in the pace. Close up that gap to F1 e reviews so we can see a decent battle. And Sear Washington has gone well off. Uh, oh, doing a nice little jump there as well. Uh, the suspension really enjoying that as he's also gone as well. Cheers, Sear Washington, mate. As uh, we'll look back to these front runners, about eight tenths, nine tenths between them now. So the gap's closed back down to about what it was before the pit stops. Like nothing happened. So hopefully WRL Leclerc was a little bit wide on the exit there. Hopefully he can get the power down. And chase down Todd. Ferrari need to hire Todd. <laughs> Indeed they do. Even with a slower qualifying for Todd today, he's managed to surge forward into the lead. To be fair, he's doing a faultless job. Had a little bit of a mistake and allowed WRL to occur at one point, but quickly retook the position. With a snip, I can sneak back through into the lead. Now, Rundle seems like he has a penalty. He does indeed. Rundle's incurred a one second penalty. But it doesn't matter too much to him, to be honest, because he's uh, about 15 seconds behind the leading pair. And he is uh, about, what is that, seven, eight seconds ahead of fourth place, Jack? So. He hasn't particularly got to worry about a one-second penalty too much. As we'll uh, we'll move on, we'll get on board. Not on there. Let's go in. Uh, let's go in cockpit cam. Have a watch of WRL Leclerc's lap around Catalonia. As there's not a huge amount, too much for action on. Comes around the uh, obviously we have the first flowing right-left corner and round that long right-hander as into a deep braking zone. It goes quite tight with that line. I was uh, doing some practice the other night, having some fun on this track. I found a lot much less oversteer if I did a wide line through there and sort of hung it around uh, wide on the exit. I was able to get some decent power down. But the boys are uh, still hot lapping well. And uh, WRL Leclerc still chasing down that bumper of Todd E. Games. Hopefully, he's able to find that pace and he's able to chase him down and provide some good racing to the stream. But I'm going to look back on to Arctic. Again, going back around that flowing right-hander as he's coming right up the rear of uh, F1E Reviews. Obviously, Mr. Famous YouTuber, F1E Reviews, versing, fighting another F1 YouTuber, JWF1. The YouTubers battle on track. Finally, we're able to see some decent battling. We'll switch back to track side. Obviously, JWF1 in that beautiful white Bentley. And then F1E Reviews in the blue Always evolving Nissan GTR. Now I can see up front the gap has gotten slightly smaller between the leaders, but I'm not sure anything's going to happen down this straight. So we'll keep flicking back between these two. As F1 e Reviews begins to feel the pressure now coming from JWF1, and they're also going to have the interesting thing of having Gear 3 Gaming slightly in front as well. He is the back marker that they're coming back, sorry, that they are chasing down. So that could throw a spanner in the works, possibly. Because if they catch up the leader before moves are done, could slow down either F1 or Uri's, as they are going to catch up with him. But he's going to slow down and let them through. What a very, very nice man. There you go. That's how you do it, lads. Well done to Triple Crown Racing. As I said, so that's one YouTuber letting through two other YouTubers. So uh, there we go. YouTubeception. Three of them on one screen. Wow. Quite incredible. JWF to made a mistake through that last... Uh, through that last sector, so we're going to move back. Back forward to WRL Leclerc, who's managed to close the gap very, very nicely down to Toddy Games now. About three tenths of a second, lowering it to about two through there. So we could be seeing some fantastic racing very shortly. He's going to try and get the cutback through there. Not going to happen. Hopefully he can get a decent run down this back straight, though. As we know, we've got a hairpin down the bottom. He gets a good exit. Not incredible, but he's able to see if he can hang around the outside. Games with the inside line, holding the defensive. Abuel Leclerc looking to cut that back. 
can't quite do so through here. As I'm going to switch back to uh, FWD reviews and Arctic, who seem to be quite close. Not quite close enough through here. I'm trying to think where they can make a move. As these guys are getting very, very bitey. Very, very bitey. Oh my goodness, W.R. Leclerc with the roof out the outside. What a move. He's gone wide, covers him off, pushes uh, Tony Games out wide. A little bit of margie bargy there, but that's all fair. All fair racing. What a move from W.R. Leclerc. Slipping up the inside to take the lead. Fantastically done, mate. Fantastically done. But Toddy Games is going to try and hold the slipstream down the main straight. See if he can take another move to give the lead back to himself. He looks to the inside, goes for the send. He does indeed. A little bit of rub, and he's tapped the rear of WL Leclerc. An interesting move there, but they both sort of lost traction. Leclerc's had to go over the uh, over the first corner, the inside of the first corner. So I believe he will have had to give back the position to Toddy there, but they're going to continue their fight down through to corner four. Toddy covers the inside with WRL Leclerc looking around the outside again. He's got some decent grunt in that Mercedes. Mercedes on McLaren. But not able to hold it around the outside. He's going to again try to switch back. A little bit of weaving there. Bit of oversteer from WRL Leclerc. And Toddy has gotten lucky again there. With another mistake. And another lovely move from Leclerc. Same as last time. But then uh, Leclerc has gotten unlucky and had to had to give the position back, or something's gone wrong. As that was definitely a corner cut there from Leclerc. Definitely, yeah, he's got he's definitely got a uh, slow down warning for that one. That was pretty blatant there, matey. Uh, but he's done well there. He he will still have the slowdown, so I'm not sure if it will tell him to give them give the position back here. But he's got a fantastic exit through there. Managed to hold it as Todd gets all sort of shapes. Down into that left hander, but he's able to continue to hold the inside. He completely outbreaks himself uh, into the corner there. But managed to hold off Leclerc, proving some fantastic racing into the dying stages of the race. Only about four laps to go now. Sorry, five laps to go now. As oh, they're still suppressing. They have tapped him. He has tapped him. Leclerc taps games into the final corner. And uh, actually hasn't proved too bad for Toddy. For Toddy through there. He's actually done okay. <laughs> Sorry, my uh, my cat is just in the very cutest position ever right now, so I'm just giving him a little bit of a tickle. Uh, Mid-race tickle for the cat, but that has meant that uh, the tap from uh, Leclerc has actually affected him worse. He's lost about half a second there, so we'll move back to the battle that was between F1 Year Reviews and JWF1. JWF1 still not able to make a move, and someone else has left the session now, so we're down to only nine runners. I would need to make uh, maybe stipulate more to the guys in the chat about how I don't want you to just randomly leave for no particular reason. So slightly frustrating. But no problem at all. We're still seeing some fantastic racing. I do feel a little bit bad for, for Rundle and Jack here in no man's land with no battling going on for either of them. As someone else has left as well. Fantastic. Brilliant. That was YTB Ferrari as well, who I believe just left. Down to eight runners. We've got Toddy still holding on to the lead just about from WRL Leclerc and then the battle down for fifth between F1 Year Reviews and Arctic and then CDO Pants and Raptor were fighting at one point but now there's about 20 seconds between them so not too sure not too sure what happened there between those two so uh oh okay that battle's looking very close. F1 e Reviews holding it there. It said that uh, F1 e Reviews was ahead, but that JWF1 had a better time as very, very close to the rear, w uh, JWF1 gets there. See if he can hold it round the outside through this left-hander. F1 e Reviews is going to hold the inside. Try and hold it on the apex to not allow the switchback to occur. He manages to do that. Has to make sure uh, that he sends JWF1 to the outside. JDF one's going to look up the inside of this corner. Not really a move. Uh, not really move on for that corner there. Very flowing left right hand corner, and that's just not going to happen. But JWF one following super closely now. Is he going to go? No, he's not so close around that right hander. Looking to. Oh no, he's lost it. He's lost it. No. Oh no. JWF one's lost it. He's round. He's going to get overtaken by CJ Pants for sixth place. Absolutely gutting, but I'm afraid we're going to have to leave him now because, oh no, WR has obviously gone for, the, for that move at the first corner and that's not quite worked out. And it's been he's lost a lot of time to Toddy there. A lot of time. Hopefully he can get back up very soon. But poor, poor JWF1 was in a fantastic battle with F1 e Reviews. I'm sure F1 e Reviews is very happy to see that happening behind him because now he's got free air. He's getting chased down by CJ Pants and Tad, but... 
Here's a slight bit of free air now to sort of put some laps in, but I feel so bad for Arctic now. Huge amount of damage on the front of that Bentley. He's just going to have to sort of try and bring that home now. Not sure whether he's going to go into pit and uh, just coast it home or he's going to try and stay ahead in that seventh place. He is indeed going to try and hold that seventh place and get a couple of extra points there. So unlucky to JWF1. So it feels so bad for him. He'd done amazingly this race and we were seeing a fantastic battle. So uh, hopefully he can still make it round to finish seventh. But again, battling games versus Leclerc. Leclerc looking around the outside for the hairpin at the bottom of the long rear straight. As uh, games was a little bit wide there, but seemingly people can't seem to get the move done, I believe, because it's uh, uphill out of that corner. You don't get quite a good drive. Quite a good drive out of that. But uh, Leclerc... Oh, looking to get a switch back and go around the outside there, but not going to happen. Into another slow park. No way he's going to... Okay, I thought he was going to go... That was that would have been far too uh, far back to go for that move again from WR Leclerc. Uh, Toddy's gone in the pits. Toddy's gone in the pits. Why has Toddy gone in the pits? Um, right. There we are. Well, that's race over. Why has he gone in the pits? Um, yeah, that's, um, that's interesting. Uh, right. Let's have a, let's go, um, uh, onto Speedo, I think I can do. I think he's out of fuel. I think he's going to, if his fuel starts to go up now, I think he's just underfueled it. He has indeed, yeah, his fuel's going up. Tony Games has done a mighty, mighty error there. He's underfueled his car at the stop. Insane. I cannot believe that's happened. Yeah, WR Leclerc still with 11 litres. He's easily going to make it to the to the end of the race with 11 litres there. I'll keep that graphic up on the screen currently. But look at that. Toddy Games has just thrown away a win. It was a fantastic battle between Toddy and Leclerc for the lead today. But Toddy's just thrown it away. The leader of the championship now dropped down to fourth. Be interesting to see who else could take him, but that's basically handed LSJ Rundle a second place and put Jack on the podium as well. His pace wasn't looking incredible, but he's managed to somehow steal that. Toddy has managed to come out the pits now in fourth, and he has F1 E reviews right behind him. We'll see if F1 E reviews can hopefully uh, catch up, and we'll see some racing for uh, between them for the last couple of laps. But mental scenes, mental mental scenes at what has happened there. How, how has he messed up the calculations there, mate? How have you messed up those calculations? Very frustrating, very frustrating. But now it's meaning that there's a sort of more of a gaggle up now from 40... We're saying the gaggle is eight seconds. Toddy Games in fourth, about 40 seconds off the lead. He's lost there from refueling. Then everyone of reviews just behind him in fifth and CJ Pants just behind him in sixth. We'll move forward. WR Olicker is going to come on to start lap 21 at the penultimate lap of today's race in the Moto Meerkat World Series at Algarve. What are, what are people saying? Caitlin Penny. Hello, Caitlin. How are you today? Hi there. Nice looking series. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying. Decided to call it a day. Too many internet related glitches, so I thought I'd just park it as to not ruin anyone's races. That's fair enough, mate. Fair enough, Triple Crown. Thank you for getting involved anyway. Uh, yeah, he's saying you might want to watch the lead. Yes, sorry, I was watching the lead. My apologies. Um, the battle behind was good, but I managed to switch back uh, and we uh, saw what happened. But yeah, everyone's saying, wait, what? Splash and dash for Todd. Oof. Yeah, splash and dash for him. But that's not really worked, has it, the splash and dash? Uh, he's lost quite a few positions and been knocked off the top three space as well. I know he's going to be... No way. He's in the pits again. He's in the pits again. Todd, he... Oh, what has he done? He's, he's out of fuel again. 0.5 litres. What has Toddy done? He's splashed and dashed, and he's not splashed and dashed enough. In the pits again, meaning he's going to lose fourth place out to F1 of your reviews, fifth place out to CJ Pants, and then Arctic, who binned it earlier fighting F1 of your reviews, is going to come through to take sixth as well. Toddy filling up the fuel tank again. There you go. He's increased it again. He just splashed and dashed, but only did about a lap until he ran out again. What is going on there? I don't think Raptor's going to be able to quite... Uh, get past him for seventh, but they're going to be relatively close with Toddy coming out in seventh. Absolute shambles today for Toddy. Looking to finish second last out of the runners we still have. I had so much damage that there was no point in continuing. Fair enough, Jack. Fair enough to you, matey. That was uh, Sear Washington, wasn't it? Yeah, I saw you crash a couple of times, mate. Slightly frustrating for you as uh, uh, Raptor does an interesting line through that corner. Uh, an interesting one there. I'm not sure his uh, 10 second. Speeding in the pit lane is really going to make a difference as he's still in last with Toddy just a few seconds ahead of him now. 
So, oh, I just complete condolences to Toddy. He's going to pick up a couple of points just for finishing this race in seventh. But he was looking so well. He was looking on for the race win there. But just wasn't to be today. Wasn't to be. As WRL Leclerc has now started the final lap of today's race in uh, in Catalonia for the second round of the Moto Makeup World Series. If you're still watching this stream, thank you so much for getting involved, chatting on the live chat, enjoying the racing, and just having a general good time. Did we think WRL Leclerc was going to win today's race? I can't say I did. He was obviously looking pacey at Algarve, but I hadn't really seen too much of him at Catalonia, and he wasn't like at the top of qualifying. He did pretty well, but he wasn't right up there, so... Interesting to see he has slightly lucked out there, but nothing to take away from him. Toddy messed up his strategy and he was there to pick up the pieces in second place. So moving up to first and taking all 15 points for today's race. Well, hopefully not a commentator's curse that he bins it on the last lap. That would not be good for him, but all he has to do is sort of coast it home currently to take the win for today. But yeah, it will be interesting to see uh, what actually happened with Todd. How did he manage to underfill it? What a... Uh, an absolutely silly goose. An absolutely silly goose. That's all I have to say. But Ben, ben in the chat. Obviously, Ben was supporting WRL Leclerc in today's race. He says, ha 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 ha. I think Ben might have put some sort of spell on Todd there to make the fuel tank drain a lot faster than he thought it, than he thought it would. But uh, WRL Leclerc done very well on the fuel. Five litres left. So uh, um, he's sort of... I think maybe he just locked it up there. I thought he was going to stop. Uh, he's going really slowly. For some reason. Why is he doing that? That doesn't make any sense. He's allowing Rundle to catch back up with him very quickly. Coming through the last corner. But I believe, uh, yeah, hopefully Leclerc will uh, will take the line first. Uh, this isn't going to be a Ferrari Austria, uh, Austria situation, I don't think. As he crosses the line. There we are. Just ahead of Rundle. Who had a second penalty anyway, so it didn't matter. But Leclerc takes the win of the second round of the Moto Makeup World Series. With Rundle coming across in second. Jack in third place to finish out your podium for today's race but sadly toddy games dropping all the way down to seventh from the lead of the race running out of fuel not his uh, not his best result today hopefully uh, i might see if i can get him in uh, in the voice chat and we can ask him what the hell happened so hopefully if toddy's listening to this i will get the podium positions in and i will hopefully try and get him in as well but I believe F1 e Reviews also comes across the line to finish fourth. A fantastic result for him today. Picking up some very decent points as well as CJ Pants. Not scoring any points in the last round as he was disqualified. But fifth place for him today. And an Arctic with that crash. Very, very sad crash for, uh, for him. But he still managed to come over in sixth to get some, uh, some decent points for today's race. Managing to salvage, uh, salvage what he could. But... Uh, make party invite only that's exactly what we want to do and then uh, we're going to start inviting people uh, people to the chat WRL Leclerc hopefully we can get Rundle in as well and then Jack some beautiful burnouts on the lads F on the reviews Arctic CJ Pants all doing donuts around each other <laughs> very very fun very very fun good on the boys and then uh, we'll get Todd in as well so there we are that is the finishing order for the second round at Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, the Moto Makeup World Series. Now I've invited the boys to uh, to the chat, and hopefully they'll join very soon. But we have WRL Leclerc finishing in first place. Then we've got second place, LSJ Rundle. Then we've got Jack in third. Then we've got Formula 1 E-Reviews in fourth. Then we've got CJ Pants in fifth. Arctic JWF1 in sixth. We've got Toddy Games with very, very, very sad for him today, finishing in seventh. I'm not sure what happened there with his fuel. Then we've got GSR Raptor in eighth to finish off the people that actually finished the race. And then obviously some uh, people not finishing today's race. But we've got some boys in the chat currently. I believe everyone's actually here. So firstly, I want to say well done to all of you lads on today's race. Firstly, I'll start off with WRL Leclerc. Fantastic race from you. Saw some fantastic moves. I believe there was one I saw round the outside that was particularly impressive. But what do you have to say about today's race? Are you happy with that win? Yeah, obviously. Last week in Algarve, I obviously wanted to win from pole. So, yeah, obviously to get it this week would have been brilliant. Yeah. Great yeah. feeling. And obviously, commiserations to Todd because it would have been a, obviously a back to the line if, we, if he didn't have to pit again. So, 
yeah, very unfortunate for him, but yeah, I'll take 15 points any day of the week. <laughs> yeah, mate, very, very happy for you to uh, for you to take those 15 points. But uh, as you were saying, we'll uh, move, just skip on the other two uh, podium positions at the, st uh, at the moment. We'll talk to Todd quickly. What happened with you there, Todd? So we saw you had to pit twice again for Muir Fuel. How did you manage to mess that up so massively? I'm, I'm so sorry for you, mate. Well, the thing is, I thought, like, oh, yeah, I'll just, like, put a bit more fuel in, like, you know, just enough to get me to the end. Unfortunately, because I was fighting, um, I used, like, way more, so um, I had to pit, forgot to set the fuel to more than one litre, and then I had to pit again, so I kind of threw away a win, but I know now for the future, and next race I'm going to be back at it, so it's all good. Nice one, man, nice one, man. Did you put in? Yeah, I, I put enough in for around 20 laps. I, so I don't know what happened to you. Interesting. Interesting, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what happened there, lads, but uh, yeah. a very, very... Like, commiserations to you, Todd. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll see you. You've been very, very quick at, uh, at all of the tracks. So hopefully we'll see you back at the top again. Uh, again next time we'll move on to lsj rundle so very good battling with you there i think it was f1 of your reviews you were fighting for a bit and we saw some good battling but i will say i'm sure you won't mind me saying that it is quite lucky for you today to uh, achieve that second place how, how are you feeling uh, I'm, I'm, to be honest i think i had pace you can see from my, my best lap uh, just off the clear um i got behind to by Cody right at the start and lost about 20 seconds with the pit stop as well, having to repair damage. But uh, yeah, no, really good race. And Leclerc was a gentleman. He fell down and we went across in formation. So really good race. It was very, very sweet for that finish. But um, what uh, what do you have to say to that Todd about uh, potentially punting Rundle at the start? Do you remember that? I'm sure. I'm but, sure it'll yeah, be okay. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll have a look at that after the race. But finally, on to uh, on to Jack. You had fantastic, fantastic pace in uh, both practice and the quali. And then in the race, you seemed to fall off a little bit. W what happened there? Um, I think at the start I got hit in the rear, and uh, for the whole race I just had no grip. Ah, was that it? Okay, I thought it might be something like that because your pace was blistering in quality and practice, but uh, still very well done to you to getting that third place, and well done to all of you uh, for joining in and participating in today's race. Thank you very much for getting involved, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next round. So thank you, and I'll uh, see you all later. Cheers, boys. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Well, there we are. That is it for the second round of the Moto Makeup World Series. I'll switch back to this camera so you can see my beautiful face. Just give me two seconds. Let that, let, that, uh, let that boot up, I believe. Uh, oh, very, very blurry it is. Let's see if we can move. Okay, right. It, it, it isn't liking it at the moment. There we go. I think we're back on. Hey, there we are. There's my beautiful face. Hello, cha Hello, chaps. There we are. That's it. Second round of Moto Makeup World Series all done. We didn't have any problems with the lobby today. Absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, we can have that more often and uh, the series can just run perfectly throughout. I know I'm going to say that and it's going to be completely messed up at the next round. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I was saying about the next round, you should definitely make sure you come and join us. It is at Monza. So that should be good. Maybe we'll see m the uh, more power-hungry cars, such as the Lamborghini, possibly doing a bit better in that race. GSR CJ Pants and the Lambo obviously getting fifth this time around. Possibly we can see him looking at podium places for the round at Monza. But yeah, if you did enjoy today's stream, be sure to drop a like on it down below if you did enjoy it. And obviously subscribe to the Moto Makeup YouTube channel if you haven't already. I post loads of Motorsport videos and obviously do the Moto Makeup World Series. So make sure you get involved, you get joining on. If you want to join the, uh, the, uh, the, the series itself, drop me a DM on Instagram or Twitter. Links are all below. Thank you all for joining and I'll see all of you meerkats later. Goodbye everyone. Good night. Good evening. I love you all. Ciao.